Hi there, I'm Andrea Koppel, and it's time for Coffee, the podcast where you get to hear firsthand what the jobs and careers that interest you the most are really like. Hey there, Java junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, Susan Weiner. So what do you wish you had known when you were looking for that first post-college job? So what I really wish I had understood is how much people want to help people who are coming out of college and how rewarding it is for people in their 40s and 50s who have a successful career to talk with young people about their path forward. It's wonderful to share your expertise. It's wonderful when somebody wants to hear your expertise. It would have been really helpful to me if I had understood that at that point in my life. I really need to be more proactive, go talk to more people, and that those people wanted to talk to me and would actually enjoy talking to me and enjoy helping me. I wish I had really understood that because I think I would have explored more options. So to seek out mentors. Yes, to seek out mentors and not in any single direction. Don't focus too soon. Cast a very wide net to start with. Gosh, I was the same way, Susan, the same way as you. (laughs) I think for me, it was mostly insecurity because I felt like, and this is the absurdity of it, I felt like I had to act like I already knew it. Yes. Because otherwise, they wouldn't want me in the job. And if I started revealing to my colleagues who were so much more seasoned than I was that I didn't know what the heck I was doing, Mm -hmm. that they would look down on me. And I couldn't agree with you more. I think the opposite is true. Nobody expects you to know it all. And, And if you are genuine in your outreach and just say something like, hey, I'm really kind of struggling here with such and such, or I would really love to learn more about X, Y, or Z. You seem to really be on top of it. Do you have any advice for me? Yes. Yes. Of course, the humorous thing is now that I've been through some careers and I'm older, is that you can see when young people don't know. When someone is new in an industry, of course they don't know. And you know they don't know, but they're trying to pretend that they do know. And so it's a very awkward. Yes. Yes. I feel like this. And because I know that my 15-year-old son will not be listening to this show, I can say, I feel it's somewhat similar to my trying to give him advice. And yet, as a teenager, his inclination is to push back. Like, I know, mom, leave me alone. Right. But it's different when you're a young professional. Don't think that it's like reaching out to your parents. (laughs) It really is. We are there in the workforce, those of us who are farther along in our careers. And as Susan said, we want to help you. We really do. We want you to learn from our mistakes, which is why people like Susan are so willing to do this kind of time for coffee interview because we hope you won't make the same mistakes we did. (laughs) Right, right. And also, it just feels great to be asked. You know, I mean, it's wonderful to share. You love sharing my experience. And I think other people feel the same way. If there's a young person out there who's starting a career and they're being proactive to track me down and ask me questions, I want to help that person because I think that person is going to be successful. And I want to feel like I was part of that success. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to Time for Coffee, where the professionals in the jobs that most interest you always have time to grab coffee 24-7, no matter where you live. I have one quick favor to ask you. Remember to rate, review, and subscribe to Time for Coffee. Thanks so much.